It is now time for the best of round five at back to track as we have Cosmos and Mercury Swell playing in this big game right here. Number five versus number one. Mercury Swirl is one of only three marbles remaining in this tournament undefeated. Playing against a potentially dangerous back to track marble in Cosmos this season. Cosmos looking to prove to the AMC world that he is a legit contender in this year's back to track tournament. But anyway, let's take a look what happened in the other games today. Rainbow Bright getting that win against Hillswater and Lava 10-4. That'll bring her record up to 3-2. and two. Pretty good shape that she's in right now. She has a chance for a playoff qualification bracket. She'll definitely make it if she beats Ruby Falls in round 6. And look at that. Magic losing to Lemon Yellow 10-5. to five. Well, I take back what I said about Mercury Swell being one of only 3 marbles left. He's one of only 2 marbles left. Magic is no longer undefeated. Lemon Yellow looking to be on the rise after an 0-3 start. But anyway, now we have Milky Way defeating Moon Swirl 7-6 on a close one. Went to overtime. Milky Way is now 3-2. Moon Swirl as last year's SCS runner-up. Not looking like he is going to make it back this year. But anyway, let's begin the best of round 5 right now. Alright, best of round 5 is now getting ready to kick off. We roll a 5 on the dice roll. So time to race, maze of race, and then balance jump will be the order for this game. So we'll start in the timed race. Cosmos will be going first right here, and Cosmos on the first try. Not going to be bad, but anyway, 36 for Cosmos to start. Mercury Swirl now, number one marble in the tournament. Mercury Swirl, this one's going to be decent. 34, so one point for Mercury Swirl, one to nothing. Now, the second try. Mercury Swirl. 234 as he puts up in that timed race, so not a bad timed race for Mercury Swirl. But anyway, Cosmos on his second. 34 for him as well. So it's going to remain 1 to nothing as we move on to the maze race. But anyway, Cosmos will get in there first in the first point. He'll go all the way in the first point. So 1 to nothing in the maze race. Cosmos on the second point will make it 2 to nothing. Cosmos looking to get himself a lead going into the final unit, the balance jump. But anyway, Cosmos will sweep Mercury Swirl in the maze race. That'll give him six points, six to one now. Mercury Swirl's largest deficit of back to track. Cosmos gets to the 10. Mercury Swirl has come back in a, in a game against Icy Blue back in round two. Can he do it here? Mercury Swirl, he'd get a full 50. And that's four points for Mercury Swirl. Great stuff by him. What will he do on the second try? Does he have enough in him? No, he does not. Zero for Mercury Swirl and Cosmos will get the upset in this one. And Cosmos will move up to 4-1. and one. What a game this was. And he will get a 0 on the second try. So that's how it's going to end. 6-5 to five will be the final score. Cosmos able to knock off the number one marble in this back-to-track tournament. And now that will bring the undefeated list down to just one marble remaining. Crazy Candy Canes. He has already won in this round against America. He has one game left against Light and Dark Blue in round 6. So if Crazy Candy Canes wins that one, he will for sure be the regulation champion. Well, with Mercury Swirl and Magic losing today, this is the first time in back-to-track history that the number one and number two marbles in the tournament both lose on the same day. So that's a pretty crazy fact right there. But anyway, thank you all for watching this. I will see you all later for some more games coming up.